Today, we're exploring how to set up a custom catalog in Klaviyo. A catalog in Klaviyo functions as a database of the products that you sell and can be used to track product revenue, market-specific products, and more. If you're using a native e-commerce integration like Shopify or Magento, your catalog will automatically sync with Klaviyo. But if you don't use a native integration or you need more control, a custom catalog is the right choice for you. We'll walk through the two methods of setting up a custom catalog, syncing a JSON or XML feed, and using catalog APIs. Before we begin, if you're finding this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Now let's send it over to Michaela to guide us through setting up a custom catalog. First, let's look at syncing a JSON or XML feed. This method requires you to set up all your catalog data in a publicly available feed. Format your feed so that it does not include any nested data. You can see example JSON and XML feeds linked in the developer portal and in this video's description. There are a few required fields for each catalog item, including ID, title, URL, image URL, and description. The item ID should match product ID in any events that include catalog products, like placed order and ordered product. Price and categories are not required fields, but we recommend including them as well. Finally, make sure to include inventory quantity if you wish to enable back in stock and set the inventory policy based on your desired behavior in product blocks. Once your catalog feed is set up, navigate to Klaviyo and click Content Products on the left-hand side to access your product catalog. Click Add Custom Products, followed by Add New Source. Here, you'll be prompted to name your feed and add its URL. If your feed requires authentication, include the username and password. Then click Define Source. You'll see a green success callout showing that your feed was added correctly. The last step is to click on your feed to make sure fields from your feed are correctly mapped to fields in Klaviyo. In general, these should line up automatically, but double check to make sure all properties, like price and ID, line up with the appropriate Klaviyo properties. Once everything is ready, click Complete Feed Setup to finalize your catalog. Alternatively, you can use the Catalogs API to set up your custom catalog. The Catalog API endpoints allow you to create, update, and delete catalog categories, items, and variants. You can select to do these operations in bulk or with individual API calls. To set up our custom catalog from scratch, let's start by creating all catalog categories. We can use the Bulk Create Catalog Categories endpoint since we are creating several categories at once. In this example, I will be using Klaviyo's API collection in Postman, which pre-configures this API request. Check out this video's description for detailed instructions on setting up Klaviyo's Postman collection. For each category you want to create, include an external ID and a name. The external ID should match the category ID in your catalog management system, and the name will align with the category name in Klaviyo. For this example, I'll add two categories, apparel and footwear. You can keep integration type and catalog type, and I will delete the relationships object for each category since I am not yet adding any products to these categories. Next, let's add some items to each category. You can use the bulk create catalog items endpoint to create multiple items at once. There are a few required components for each catalog item. External ID, which should match the product ID in your catalog hosting system, title, description, and URL. Price and image URL are not required. But in general, you should include these fields so that the product's price and image show up in your catalog. Add all this information to the attributes object for each item. To add an item to a specific category, also include a relationships object in your API request. Here, you can include an array of all the categories you want to add a product to. 
Since this product is a jacket, I will add it to the apparel category by including category ID. Category ID has a specific format as listed in the documentation. Dollar sign custom, three colons, dollar sign default, three colons, followed by the category ID you included when creating the category. Since this is a bulk endpoint, you can add multiple items in the same API call, so I will also add in my other products. A pair of sandals in the footwear category, as well as a pair of boots, also in the footwear category. Once you've configured all your items, send the API request to add all your items to the appropriate categories in your catalog. Finally, let's add some variants. Variants represent different options of a catalog item, like different sizes or colors of a piece of clothing. You can use the bulk create catalog variants endpoint to add these variants at once. Let's add three variants to our jacket to represent small, medium, and large options. Each variant requires some more information. External ID, which matches the variant ID in your external system. Title, description, SKU, inventory quantity, price, URL, and the ID of the item that this product is a variant of. Just like when creating catalog items, add this descriptive information to the attributes object. In the relationships object, include item ID to connect the variant to its correct parent item. The item ID has a similar format to category ID. Custom, default, followed by the item ID. Since this is a small variant of the bomber jacket, I will include the jacket's ID that I sent in the last API call, bomber123. The three variants I am creating are very similar, so I can copy and paste. For each variant, I will just need to update the name, ID, SKU, and inventory quantity to accurately reflect the different sizes. The parent item is the same for all three variants. After sending this API request, let's check that the catalog is set up correctly. Click on Products to see all products in the catalog. By selecting a product, you can see its details, including categories and associated variants. If your catalog doesn't look as you expected it to, here are a few things to check. Ensure all required information for each catalog item and variant is included. Confirm that you're using the correct category and item IDs. And troubleshoot any API errors using our error codes documentation. Once your catalog has been created, you can use the catalog APIs to continuously create, update, or delete categories, items, and variants. Now that your catalog is set up, you can use the catalog lookup tag to display catalog product information in your campaigns and flows. If you plan to use your custom catalog in product blocks and feeds, contact the Clavio support team to complete the setup. Finally, when referencing catalog items in events like placed order or ordered product, Make sure the product ID in the event body exactly matches the item ID from your custom catalog. Now that we've gone through the two ways to set up a custom catalog, you may be wondering which method is best for you. Setting up a custom catalog via a catalog feed is easier to set up and it will update your catalog every six hours. If you need real-time updates to your catalog or your catalog is larger than the feed size limits, use catalog APIs instead. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And check out the description for more content like this to help you learn and grow with Klaviyo.